What it do, what it do, what it do, family? It's your brother tells the truth. Back with another one with y'all, man. Hope y'all doing real good. AKA Sun Baby out here. But today we ain't talking about God on Ra. Today we talking about a motherly energy. It's Monday. The series continue. If just in case if you didn't know why, you know, usually I'm outside with some real good lighting from our father, our, our God, Aden Ra. But today is Monday, so I'm out here connecting more with the moon. So, the series continues. Monday. Yes, got my notes out here too. Got a whole week's worth. If you didn't see Sunday, Make sure you go over, click on that Sunday um, breakdown and everything, and I fully broke that down for you all. And the benefits and everything that sun Sunday gives us. Today is Monday, so continue. Now, Monday, Monday is ruled by the moon, which is associated with the sign Cancer. Cancer is a water sign. Keep that in mind. Cancer, not Cancer, Monday it's the best day to nurture water and emotionally cater to something you've already started, such as a business you started, a plant that you may be growing or a garden that you're growing, someone in the relationship, someone that you're in a relationship with may be deserving of a, a real good nurturing, you know, massage or something if not someone then yourself you may be in a real good deserving of a good massage so understand that you this is a, a very nurturing energy that we get off from the moon moon is a very feminine energy and if you know anything about you know cancers cancers are, are very emotional and it's not a bad thing to be in tune not emotion they say it's a they may take it wrong when you tell them they're a little emotional, but it's not. Please don't don't take it wrong for my cancer brothers and my cancer sisters. It's not a bad thing to be in tune with your emotions. That's a part of us. Some people lack that. That's something that you naturally have. So, take some time to, you know, you may be in, give yourself some extra affirmations on Monday. Nurture yourself up. Feel yourself up. Just let that nurturing and motherly moon energy just flow straight through you, through your actions, through your words, through what you do. And don't don't try to restrain it or hold it back. It's a natural part of you. Don't 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 beat yourself too much. However, the moon flows more than any other planet. Flow meaning compromising and change you know like water just imagine water water flows right so actually starting something you want to last long planting a seed for something to grow last long or something like that that probably wouldn't be the best day to start it on if you want to see something just you know bloom into fruition you need that sun that 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 physical energy that sun energy. You know, you can have a, sun, a seed and just put it in the ground and water it. But if it ain't no sun, it ain't no growth. Same without no water, too. But Monday is, you know, when, you're, when you put it already, once it's in the ground already, that's, that's for Sunday. You plant things on Sunday. Put things in action on Sunday. And nurture it on Moon Day. Monday, it's watery, very mo. We have a we have a naturally motherly nurturing energy that flows through us from the moon, because the moon pulls us in that dark, in that in that energy. It pulls us into that that nurturing energy automatically on Monday, and that's a great thing. So. Understand this, and the reason I'm breaking down these days of the week is so you can you can, I'm just getting you a little bit ahead of the game, people. 
if you know that these these planets pull us in different days of the week and have us not just emotionally but it affects our actions too and the energy that we give off in a different aspect as far as just you're not going to feel how you feel on a monday on a friday regardless and we're not talking about slave plantation work wise it's just the energy wise the planets are totally different the planets are pulling us in a different direction. So Monday is all about the moon day. Monday, moon day. Sunday, Sunday. We already talked about that, so stand on topic. Monday. I'm going to read my notes over for you just so you can fully get it. Just like I did in the last one. Monday, ruled by the moon. Associated with the sign Cancer, best day to nurture and emotionally cater to something you're working on. Maybe a business you've started, a plant or a garden you've started, someone you're in a relationship with may deserve a good massage or a little love letter. Even yourself can use some extra words of affirmation or a massage. Just let that nurturing and motherly moon energy emotionally care and flow through you and your actions. However, the moon flows more than any other planet. Flow, meaning compromising slash change. You now just imagine a mother, you know? A mother can compromise around anything for her, for her babies, just to nurture and make sure you good. So actually starting something you will want to last long term may be best to start on another day, such as Sunday. Sunday, plant the seed on Sundays. Nurture it on Mondays. Every day you ain't got to tend to it, you know. But I'm saying those two days to tend to some things, those are the... Well, you need to tend to certain things, or you know, I'm giving you the game. Shout out, love the game. <laughs> but it's your brother Tubbs, it's another one. Ain't too long, less than ten minutes. Get these gems, people. They won't teach you this in school. Believe me. If they start to, it'll be after these videos that I'm dropping and I'm giving you game. Stay beautiful. Stay righteous. Stay black. Stay educated. Shout out to the gods and the goddess. And connect with the moon on Monday. I'm trying to go outside and moon gaze right now. I got trees behind me. I love trees too. But there you go. It's your brother tells the truth. Support that righteous brand, LTG Love the Game. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. African liberation through education and righteous confrontation by any means necessary. Shout out to the General Seti. Shout out to Young Pharaoh. You know, go subscribe over there with them on their channels and definitely go go get on Patreons and their universities. All of that. Go get that. Shout out Dr. Ben. Shout out Dr. Clark. Shout out all the, the righteous guys. Yosef. 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 Um, not Yosef Ben Yakamin. That's Dr. Ben. Shout out Yusuf L over there at High Frequency Radio. Shout out Nazara, Nazara, that brother hit over there at Hidden Power. Definitely the code, been the code, and been doing a lot of stuff. Information been out here, people. It's just where you put your energy, your soul. Where you put your energy, your focus. Get the fuck off BET. It ain't shit there. It ain't shit there. Get the fuck off VH1. Turn off that goddamn box. It's a box for a reason. It keeps your fucking head in the box. Why you think your phone is a fucking box? 
you motherfucker, everything that you focus on is in the motherfucking box because it's mentally putting your ass in the motherfucking box. Just like jail, they put your dumb ass in the motherfucking box. It's the same thing. One is just physical and one is even worse. Geometry. Put your head in that. It's a real good book, you know. One called Geometry for Dummies. You can start there. And it ain't saying that you're a dummy. It's just, a, you know, the title to mentally break the shit down better. I mean, just simplify it a little down, down better. But love y'all.